Hi there, my name is Carly and today we are going to walk you through how to upload your OSAP documentation. I'm going to assume that you've already applied for OSAP and if you haven't, you first need to apply for OSAP before you can upload required documents. In order to apply for OSAP, as well as access your OSAP portal to upload your documentation, you're going to need to go to ontario.ca slash OSAP, which is the screen in front of you right now. So the first step is to log into your OSAP application. And you'll need to provide your OSAP access number as well as your password. Now you're going to be taken to your applications and you'll see the full history of all of the applications you have submitted for OSAP. Today, I'm going to walk you through an example for a full-time OSAP application, but the process looks very similar for part-time. So again, if you haven't yet applied for OSAP, you're going to apply for a full-time or apply for part-time. But if you're revisiting an application that you've already created, you're going to go and click on Go to My Full-Time Apps. As you can see here, I already have an application started, so I'm going to click on Check Status of Application. And you'll see under current status of your application, if you have outstanding documentation, it's going to show that you need to go to the list of your required documents, which you can access right here. You can also access your required documents under app status by clicking on required documents, selecting either required documents here or go to a list of your documents here will take you to the same page. If you have required documents, it's going to show that you have required documents under the first section of the screen. For all of the different required documents you need to provide, it will list the required document type on the left-hand side, as well as the required document and any instructions on how to upload and what to include in your upload on the right-hand side. Once you have gathered all of your required documents and you're ready to upload, you're going to select Upload Document which will allow you to select a file from your computer and upload it. Once you've uploaded your required documents, you can track the status of your documents by looking at your required documents page. By scrolling down beneath the required document section, you'll come across the uploaded document section. Documents that are found here means that your documents have been uploaded successfully, but have not yet been reviewed by our office. You can even check to see what you've uploaded, and if you realize that you need to add more details, that is when you would use the optional uploads button further up on the required documents page. Once our office has reviewed your documentation and approved your documentation, any approved documents will be found under the approved documents section of your application. That is how you check the status of your documents. Please note that documents must be in PDF format and less than two megabytes in size. If your document is too large, try scanning your document in black and white or scanning as textile instead of a photo or picture. The required documents page has helpful tips on how to properly scan your documents as well by clicking on how to scan and create a PDF to upload. And that's it. Now you're a pro on how to upload your OSAP documents. 